Good morning, sports fans. You're in the cheap seats, Josh Komnick, along with uh, my guest, Justin Tierney. We are out here at Lincoln Community High School. We are getting ready for the second day of the 2012 Lincoln Shootout. There's about uh, 20 teams come to Lincoln, and uh, there was a full day of basketball yesterday. We've got uh, a lot to talk about as far as basketball, but Justin, uh, thanks for joining me this morning. Oh, thanks for having me, Josh. Josh, uh, WCL, WLCN 96.3 would like to wish you and your wife oh, yeah, a happy, good. your wife Vanessa Worth Komnick, can't yeah. forget her name, of course, yeah. uh, a happy sixth wedding anniversary Six years tomorrow. already tomorrow. Six years of wedded bliss, so yes. congratulations Thank from you. WLCN. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. You must have been told to say that. No, I knew. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Hey, we're out here at Lincoln Community <laughs> High School getting set for the second day of the Lincoln Summer Shootout. Coach Alexander is in the house also. He's running around, so we caught him for a little bit. But, uh, Coach, uh, one, how's the tournament going? And a uh, pretty good day as far as weather-wise. A little warm in here, but it's the way you like it. Well, the humidity hadn't set in yet, and the courts have been fine. Uh, at this point in time, you worry about the courts getting really slick and mm -hmm. things. But... You know, we've got some fans on them to keep the move, air moving to try to keep them dry so kids don't get hurt. But, uh, you know, we used to have this in July, and by oh, then yeah. the humidity had set in for periods yeah. of time, and it was like an ice rink out there where you, you really, the, the kids were at danger. But, uh, you know, we haven't had the problem with the humidity. Um, it takes a little bit of time for it to really get to a point to where it's that dangerous. Coach, how long have you been having the Lincoln shootout now, and is it pretty well established, pretty easy <clears> to get your... 20 to 25 teams? It was 20 teams was, you know, we've had those set for a long time. And uh, this is about the, uh, what, fifth, sixth year that we've done it. And uh, next year we're trying to expand to 32 teams. Oh. And, uh, you know, we've already got an extra commitment next year. We've started handing out flyers as you go around because mm -hmm. it's, it's no different than when you schedule uh, you know, your season. You just can't walk in and in the uh, first part of uh, uh, you know, November and right. say, hey, we need to fill our <laughs> schedule. So we've started to work on next summer already, and hopefully the 20 that we have will already be here, and we've got one uh, additional one next year. So we're excited about it. Uh, we'll make a few changes next year. Right now we play four games on Friday, which uh, <clears throat> is, is really too many games. Yeah. So we're going to uh, – right now we have five teams in a pool play four games and uh, we're going to cut that down. Hopefully, if we get the 32 teams, you'll have four in a pool, play three games, and then play your tournament out on uh, Saturday. So if you're not doing anything, come on out. There's some awful good basketball teams out here, and, uh, you know, it, it'll run quick. The championships game set for uh, 315, I believe, 415. Yeah, Coach, uh, not to mention the good teams, but uh, let's talk a little bit about the Railers. <laughs> Uh, off to a good start yesterday. Lost uh, lost just one game, I think, to Normal West. You said by two points. But uh, how, how did you guys play yesterday? Well, you know, we, our kids are really, really nice kids. And, uh, you know, when you get into it to battle and competition, you got to have a little uh, attitude adjustment mm -hmm. to where you become a little, uh, you know, uh, if you watch the NBA play, uh, playoffs, there's one point in time that I, I caught Coach uh, Popovich, and he said, you got to get a little nasty. And, mm -hmm. uh you know, uh, uh, that's what, you know, that's not dirty, that's not mean, but uh, you, you, get, you gotta want it. And, you know, I tell our kids all the time, winning is not easy. And, uh, you know, if it was, everybody would win. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, you gotta work at it, you gotta have a little uh, desire to, to make the little changes that you need to do. 32 to 31 yesterday, uh, the Railers were a winner over Metamora. That, that was the early game at 10 o'clock. Then we came back at noon, Lincoln 29, Rochester 20, so uh, another low-scoring game for the Railers. And then uh, last, let's see, what you play, Pekin, Coach, uh, that was, a, no, um, Lincoln tw uh, 38 also, Quincy 26, so he beat uh, Quincy, and then we lost to Normal West. 32 to 30, it looks 32 like. 32 to 30, so uh, a, a somewhat of low-scoring uh, for the Railers. <coughs> Is that going to be a um, kind of a, a an anthem for the Railers this year? I don't think so. I, I, I think if you check all the scores there, uh, very few of them get to 50 when you're playing 16-minute halves. And, oh, that's true. And, uh, you know, the clock runs for the most part of it. So um, it's a little bit, uh, uh, you know, deceiving as far as the point total and things that you're getting. So, you know, we just have to, uh, you know, uh, we, we want to push a little bit more. We want to score a little more. We want to score a little bit easier than what we have in the past. So. Mm -hmm. 
uh, two things that we're working on is try to push the ball a little bit. And the other thing is that we want to do is be able to have a post play, be able to score on the post. Um, Coach, you guys lost uh, quite a few seniors last year. Um, you know, Christian Van Hook, Austin Kirby, Jordan Gessner, Jake Olson. Um, I'm sure I'm leaving somebody, one person, two people. Matt Hayes. Up. Matt Hayes. Um, the summer time's got to be a good time for some of those guys who are stepping up, um, who haven't maybe seen a lot of varsity time, to get just a few games of varsity competition um, in there. How, have you seen that so far in this tournament and uh, previous weekend at Peoria Richwoods? Have you seen some of the guys who are going to be kind of new to this whole varsity thing um, show some flashes? Well, yeah, and the other thing was uh, the very first game we did this summer, uh, Edward Bowlby got hit on the side of the leg and has uh, messed up a knee, so he hasn't played at all this summer. So. That's one of the things that we don't have, and we're, it's allowing other people to step in, and Austin Cruz is stepping in there, and Adam Conradi, and, you know, we're getting to see some other people there, but uh, we'd like to see Edward there uh, mm -hmm. to be able to kind of justify to see what we're doing and everything. So, you know, we have to, to keep on working and doing the things that, that we do. Yeah, I think you talk about post play, and Edward was probably one of the guys that uh, were in, was in your plans as far as, uh, getting a guy down there to score, uh, unfortunate for Edward, but uh, you know he'll put in the work when uh, when he gets back on the court. But coach, uh, we're coming up uh, the Railers. Let's see, you're going to start at 10 o'clock today, and uh, you got a several uh, kind of a, a maybe want to call the losers bracket is beginning at 10, but uh, you guys start at 11:40. Is that correct? I think so. 11:40 against the Cyclones from uh, from Sacred Heart Griffin. So. Uh, the Railers will get back at it uh, here at 11:40. Coach, anybody, any team, any that you may not have thought of caught your eye to, uh, this weekend? Well, Washington's really good. Uh, they play so hard. They play aggressive. Uh, Chatham Glenwood's uh, very solid. Uh, Pekin, uh, it's probably got a, a tap one kid who's mm -hmm. probably Division One. I. I think he's been mm -hmm. uh, Northwestern has chased after him. Um, you know, it, it's just a variety of teams. Normal West has played well. Morton, Oswego. Uh, you know, we're trying to expand. You know, we've got Oswego out of the suburbs, and they're trying to help us gather some more teams from up around there. We'd like to go from one end of the state to the other since we're right in the central. Sure. And, you know, we'd like to get in the central part of, or even down into the St. Louis area. People staying in Lincoln, uh, you know, bringing you know, some well, stuff yeah, to Lincoln. Uh, you know, we had a lot of teams stay overnight last yeah. night, and, you know, hopefully uh, we can continue to do that. Coach, you got a couple people you want to thank to uh, not only yourself, uh, does a lot for this and in, in the basketball program, but uh, you got some sponsors out here that you'd like to uh, to mention. Well, we have a lot of sponsors. Uh, you know, we have a full court uh, package, we have a half court package, and uh, you know, SefQ, Illico, uh, Lincoln Iron and Metal, Logan County Bank, McDonald's, uh, Carol and Steve Sloan are all full court sponsors, and uh, you know, all these make this possible. It helps the uh, fundraise for our kids. Uh, you know, our fundraising for our basketball program, we try to bring things in from the outside, uh, schools from the outside. You know, they come in, they help our economy here in Lincoln, and, uh, you know, along with these people, they help support it. So uh, our half-court sponsors was uh, WLCN, uh, uh, Frontier Insurance, Lincoln IGA, Lincoln Logan May Insurance, uh, Peasley Funeral Home, Taylor Made Construction, Hampton Inn, State Farm Insurance, uh, Rick Ham and Chris Coyne, and then uh, Lincoln uh, Chrysler Dodge and Jeep. And uh, you know we thank them, and uh, you know it just helps us make this a much more successful event. Yeah, coach is definitely a, a big fundraiser for you. So uh, we'll let you get back to work as some of the teams are starting to file in here to Roy S. Anderson Gymnasium. Again, come on out. Uh, games all day. Coach said uh, I think the last game is starting at uh, 4:15. It looks like the championship, and that'll be a good one. Whoever's in it, uh, the Railers start out at 11:40 today against the Cyclones from Sacred Heart Griffin. So get out here, five dollar admission. Get out here and check uh, what you're going to see in the 2012-2013. Lincoln Railers. Coach, uh, you better get back to work. Okay, thank you. We're going to take a quick commercial break out here at Lincoln High School, Roy S. Anderson Gymnasium for the 2012 Lincoln Shootout. We'll be back in just a few minutes, WLCN 96.3 FM and WLCNonline.com. Back here at the Cheap Seats, 96.3 FM and WLCNonline.com. We're out at Lincoln Community High School, Roy S. Anderson Gymnasium for the 2012 Lincoln Summer Shootout, and uh, Josh Komnick along with uh, 
Justin Tierney stepping in today to uh, to talk to some guys, and we got a special guest. Uh, uh, not too many times do we get uh, opponents of Coach Alexander on the uh, cheap seats, but we do. I'm Coach Matt Reed from Springfield. Hi, Coach. Uh, thanks for stopping by and uh, give us a couple minutes. Sure, yeah, anytime. And he's stopping in. He's bringing his team over to Lincoln, Coach. Uh, the shootout uh, got summer ball coming up. Uh, you know, of course, you're you're improving and, and trying to get better. Uh, how has the tournament been so far for you? Well, I thought. Yesterday was probably our overall our worst day of the summer just as far as the way we played. But uh, we, I thought we played much better the last game. Uh, I think this is our third turn. We played up at East Aurora. We played at Richwoods last weekend. And then we played yesterday. And, you know, it's going to happen. We have, I think we have uh, four seniors that are with us right now. The rest of them are all sophomores and freshmen. So uh, it's just a learning process, and we'll get better along the way. Spoken as a uh, true coach, a little hoarse uh, as yeah. far as the uh, the voice is going, but if you watch Springfield, you can see he's as animated as anybody gets on the sideline. Coach, how many tournaments do you uh, do you are you going to this year? And and um, and it's kind of nice here being 30 minutes away from your uh, from your school. Well, th this is a this is a great tournament here because you get to see people you don't see, and then you know it's probably the only one where we do play conference teams. Right. We, we did play Griffin last week up at Richwoods, uh, but you know when we went to East Aurora. Limestone was the only team from downstate, other than Prairie Central, that was really there. So okay. we'll go to we'll go to Morris as well, and Morris uh, it'll be Pekin, normal community, us, and O'Fallon, and everybody else will be from the yeah. Chicago area. So they still had Morris. They did when I was, you know, back in '98. They still had Morris going. It's not like it was. Not then. like it was. It's still it's fun, but uh, I, I my first year I taught. Uh, I coached at Morris one year, so okay. I kind of want to go see some buddies sure. there. And sure. it's still really good competition. It's just there's no Thomas Hamilton and Richard Griffith anymore. <laughs> <you know? laughs> no, no, there isn't. Coach, uh, you know, real quick before we let you go, get ready for your uh, first game at 10 o'clock. But um, things we can expect from the Senators coming up in the 2012-13 uh, year. Well, we're going to have a lot of young guys, and we've got some guys with experience coming back. Robert Stevens started most every game last year for us, uh, you know, if he was 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, you'd be talking about him all the time. Sure. He's, he's a six one post player. Uh, he's got really good footwork. Uh, you know, Connor Jacobs we have coming back. He really came on as the year came on last year. Um, and then we have, you know, a, a, we think a pretty good little sophomore team. Uh, but the problem is they're going to be competing at the varsity level. Right. So uh, we have... We had a nice freshman team last year. Uh, they've just got to keep improving their skill. That's what we've been about. You know, yesterday we had a lot of open shots. We missed them. You better improve your skill this summer or it's gonna, we're, we're going to be in for some tough games. Long year because, you know? uh, as you said, uh, the, the Central State 8 is going to be uh, very good next year. That's no different than any other year. Yeah. I, mean, I, th I mean, just watching. We played Chatham once already this year. Uh, you know, I've seen Lincoln play. They're going to be real good. And you know, we watched Lamphere up right. there last week. And, you know, you don't see Southeast in the summer, but uh, they're going to be good. Sure. So, and, there's, and, you know, you see Jacksonville, and they don't have a uh, peak with them all the time. Mm -hmm. and I think they're going to be much improved sure. as well. So, yeah. uh, yeah, it'll be fun. We always like coming over here. Coach, um, real quick, before we let you go, uh, you guys moved to 4A. You kind of thought that it might uh, it might help you a little bit. Um, 440, 1,441 uh, students could put you over the uh, trip 3A to 4A, and, and you're not uh, not too, too worried about it. Well, I mean, you know, I think if you're if you're 2A to get to 3A, that's a big jump. Right. You know, you know I saw Alt Marquette was one of the top teams in 2A. They got moved to 3A. That's a tough break for them. For us, it's just, okay, we get to play some different teams. You know, the only thing I didn't like about it, I've been a coach for seven years, we've basically played a city tournament in the regional every year. Southeast has got lucky. They've gone to Decatur a couple right. times. Every year we have had us and Lamphere and Griffin and most of the time Southeast. So sure. it's just fun to see somebody else. Yeah. Uh, you know, and it, it, you know, it, it's not the, the style of basketball you play. It's not going to be different. You know, you might see the normal schools. You might see Quincy, Pekin. You know, we're used to seeing schools like that. So it's not going to be a major deal. Coach, good luck, and uh, thanks for stopping by. Coach Matt Reed from the uh, Springfield Center. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys. Yep. yep. We're still out here at uh, Roy S. Anderson Gymnasium. We want to thank uh, Coach Matt Reed for stopping by. He's got to get his troops ready for the 10 o'clock start um, to, uh, to get going. Looks like he's got... Uh, Let's see, who's he got? Springfield's taking on Jacksonville. So uh, the, the Crimson and the Senators, a Central State 8 matchup coming up in uh, in just a couple minutes. But again, Justin, a full day of basketball going on out here, and uh, people need to get their basketball fix, come out here all day. Sure, yeah. I mean, I think uh, it's a, you know, a good time. Good. What else are you doing on a summer Saturday? That's right. you know? I mean, come out, check out the uh, basketball program. You know, I mean, I, I like the summer, too, because it's the games are quick. The games are quick-paced. You know, there's not... 
sure. timeouts and things like that. So it's just straight basketball for usually 16 minutes. And um, like we talked about with Coach Alexander, it's a it's a good time to kind of get a little preview of, you know, who that sophomore that's going to come in and have a big game is. You know, you might see a flash of something in the summer, and you think, oh, I remember that game. Um, during the regular season, you know, you might think, oh, I remember when he lit it up this summer. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, you get to see what kids are made of, and uh, especially against some really good competition too. So, well, I said there's a lot of uh, a good talent. Uh, you know, uh, some some guys that are going to play some college basketball. You want to see some good players? Yeah, uh, come I, on out. Peyton Allen's always worth the price of yeah, admission. Yeah, exactly. I, I mean, he's. I mean, Coach Coach Reed mentioned it. Um, you know, Chatham's very good. Uh, Pekin's got some uh, very good. Um, athletes as well. Um, I, Washington, Washington is wow. a they, great team to watch. They if beat you're a, Springfield yesterday, 45 to seven. I don't know if that's a misprint. If if you're a basketball purist, you gotta love watching Washington because they're fundamentally they're a lot like Lincoln in right. a way. Um, they're fundamentally sound. Are they always the most athletic? Are they always the most talented? No, but they get the absolute most out of what they have. So you gotta um, come out and watch Washington. It's a good game to watch. Um, sure. And bring a young basketball player too, and um, see if they can pick up anything on a day like this. Want to thank, or want to thank? We want to congratulate some of the uh, Railers as they had the Central State Eight uh, athletic and academic all-conference teams for the. I just want to call it the fall, the, uh, the spring, spring sports, spring, spring sports, sports, spring yep. sports. baseball, Eric Hopp, all conference, Tyler Horsham, all conference, and Ryan Montcalm, all conference for them. Tennis was James Lysinger. He got special mention. Track and field was Cameron Cook, all conference. Garrett Cooper, special mention. Corey Jones, special mention. Also girls, soccer, Lauren, Lauren Subbing, all conference. Hannah DeAndra, special mention, and also Katie Harris was special mention. Softball. These are all all-conference. Mallory Bacon, Marissa Greer, Megan Kurtz, Michelle, Michelle Paulus. Michelle I Paulus, yep. Madeline Cooper was special mention. Mackenzie Cooper was special mention. And Britton Brighton. Brighton Robbins was yep. also special mention. Uh, track and field, Amina Jackson, all-conference. And Adriana Tooks was all-conference also. We want to congratulate the academic all-conference baseball. Day Nimer, Tate Gordon. Eric Hopp and Jake Olson. Tennis was Ethan Anderson, Ben Hodder, Kyle Clockingay, and Moses Rogers. Track and field was Anthony Cannon. On the girls' side was uh, soccer, Adrian Alley, Catherine Arnaud, Meredith Carroll, Hannah DeAndrea, Ta Tammy Hoon. In? Okay. Yep, I think so. Thanks for coming. Alexander, <laughs> Alexandra Clock Clockingay. Uh, yep. Uh, Livy, Livy Muck. Livy Muck. Jessica Nguyen. Nguyen. Yep. Abigail Ray, Lauren Subbing, and Mallory White. Softball was Mallory Bacon, Molly Crawley, Maggie Cusey. Cusey, Marissa Greer, and Michelle Paulus. This is all academic. All conference, Abigail Butler for track and field, Elizabeth Dye, Kate Nichols, Adriano Tukes, and Allison White. So, uh, big ups. Yeah, yeah, sure. And I, I noticed, I, I think a uh, few of those are, are freshmen, so always really? nice to see. Nice. I know Cameron Cook is. Um, right. So, um, that's pretty cool to see some of the younger guys and yeah. younger girls. Hey, we got some more things to talk about, but we'll be back out here. We're at uh, Roy S. Anderson Gymnasium getting set for the shootout. So, uh, we want to take a quick commercial break and be back here uh, in just a couple minutes. You're listening to WLCN 96.3 FM and WLCNonline.com.